that are wanting to go to camp will be paid for. So I think we ought to give you and the Lord a hand clap of appreciation. We had a great time, and we had uh, great food and great fellowship, so thank you for all that participated. Just a couple announcements before we get started. Tuesday night will be our men's meeting. That will be at 6.30 here at the church. All men are invited to come out and attend. We have Bible study, and then we have time of food and fellowship, and that will begin at 6.30. So please, men, all men are invited to come out and be a part of that. Also tonight in the evening service, uh, Pastor Bobby Board will be ministering. He's the pastor of a Pentecostal church in Winnemac, Indiana. He will be preaching tonight. If you normally don't come on Sunday night, come out tonight and support uh, Brother Bobby. He, you'll, you'll be uh, ministered to. He's a young minister and he's full of the Holy Ghost and he'll preach what the Lord lays on his heart. If you come tonight, I believe you'll be ministered to. So come out tonight. That'll begin at 6 o'clock. Pastor Bobby Board will be preaching. And one thing before we get started today, I want to honor Caleb Van Hoosier today. He graduated. We had some others that graduated, but they're not here. I'm going to ask him if he'll come. We have a little gift on behalf of the church for him. So let's give him and the Lord a hand clap of appreciation. Just a little graduation, a graduation gift on behalf of the church. So thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Yep. What a great accomplishment, amen? Amen. Praise God. Let's all stand this morning. Let's ask the Lord just to have His way here with us today. Father, we thank You, Lord, for another time, another opportunity, Lord, just to enter into Your presence. Lord God, I pray for this service. Every song we sing, every word I speak, God will bring glory and honor unto You. Father, I pray for this service, that Your will will be accomplished here today. Father, we pray it all in the name of Jesus. Everybody say amen today. Amen. We're going to worship the Lord's brother Nate comes to lead us to worship. Amen. Man, church, you know, ironically, last Sunday we stood up here before the service started and was talking about how beautiful the morning was and that God made today and everything. <laughs> he made today too. Amen. He makes every day. Rain, snow, sunshine. It's a day that he's made and we're to be glad in it. Amen. Let's worship and sing this, this opening song, Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Bless the Lord, O My Soul. Bless the Lord, O Holy name. Sing that again, church. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless his holy name. For he hath made. For he hath done great things, he hath done great things, he hath done great things, bless his holy For he hath done, for he hath done great things, he Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Lift your hands this morning, church, as we sing this. O oh my soul, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Bless His holy name. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, O 
This next one is one of those old Pentecostal songs that, to me, typically it was the small Pentecostal churches that would sing this song. You know, the churches that didn't have any hymnals, those are the kind of church I grew up in. We didn't have hymnals, didn't have a lot of musical instruments. We just used our feet and our hands to keep the time. But this song is, Can't Nobody Do Me Like Jesus. Can't Nobody Do Me Like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. He picked me up and turned me around. He picked me up and turned me around. He picked me up and turned me around. He's my friend. He healed my body and told me to run on. He healed my body and told me to run on. He healed my body. Told me to run on. He's my friend. Yes, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus, he's my friend. He saved my soul and he made me whole. He saved my soul and he made me whole. He saved my soul and he made me whole. He's my friend. He died for me on Calvary. He died for me on Calvary. He died for me on Calvary. He's my friend. Worship this morning, church. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my. Put your hands together this morning, He saved my soul and he made me whole. He saved my soul and he made me whole. He saved my soul and he made me whole. He's my friend. He died for me on Calvary. He died for me on Calvary. He died for me on Calvary. He's my friend. Can't nobody, yes, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my. Sing that one more time, church. Yes, can't nobody do me like Jesus. Can't nobody do me like the Lord. Can't nobody do me like Jesus. He's my friend. Amen. Somebody ought to give him a hand clap of praise this morning, church. Amen, amen. And, you know, you can just picture 
uh, old timers singing that song, small church, like I said, no hymnals, usually not a lot of instruments. And even the English isn't correct, but we didn't even care about the English. We were worshiping the Lord, amen. Amen, amen. Before pastor comes for prayer requests, I love this song. I know you all do too. It's got great meaning to it. If I could but touch the hem of his garment, if I could but touch, amen. We know how the woman pressed through, pressed, pressed through the crowd. Sermon's been preached many times. Pastor Rick talked about it uh, in his teaching one Sunday. If I could but touch. Let's sing and worship this morning, church. If I could but touch. If I could but touch the hem of his garment. If I could but touch one part of his robe, I know I'd be healed, my sins all forgiven. If I could but touch him, I know I'd be whole. A woman one day tried many physicians, but daily grew worse in the Bible we're told but when she had heard she came to Jesus she found what she needed for body and soul if I could but touch the hem of his garment if I could but touch but part of his robe, I know I'd be healed, my sins all forgiven. If I could but touch him, I know I'd be whole. Blind Bartimaeus sat by the wayside begging, nobody to help him down life's weary way. Then Jesus passed by. He reached out his hand that day. If I could but touch the hem of his garment, if I could but touch one part of his robe, I know I'd be healed. My sins all forgiven. If I could but touch him, I know I'd be whole. Do we understand this morning Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever, and he changes not? The same Jesus that she was trying to touch that day is here today. He has what you need. You just got to push through the crowd and get what you need from Him today. As we see it again today, if you got a need, reach out and touch Him. I'm not your answer. He's your answer today. And He has what you need. Amen. Let's reach out and touch Him this morning as we sing it again today. Hallelujah. If I could but touch, touch his garment the hem morning. of His garment If I could but touch one part of his robe I know I'd be healed my sins all forgiven if I could but touch him I know I'd be whole sing that again church if I could but touch the hem of his garment if I could but touch one part of his robe I know I'd be healed, my sins all forgiven. If I could but touch him, I know I'd be whole. Amen. We're going to go to the Lord in prayer this morning. If you have a need, would you slip up your hand, saying, I need God to do something. Oh man, Look around you at the hands lifted. Almost every hand lifted today. But there's not one hand lifted that God can't meet your need today. 
And we're going to pray and we're going to believe today because we believe God still hears and answers prayer. Amen. I want you to help me pray this morning. Let's believe God for some miracles to take place today. Father, we thank you, Lord, for this time in the service. God, that we have set aside to call out to you for our help. Father, you've seen the hands, God, that were lifted all across this sanctuary. But God, you look beyond the hand. And God, you see the heart. And God, you know the need today. And Father, I pray right now, God, that you would reach down to those hands. God, that lifted up today. God, that you would reach down, that you would touch them. And God, that you would meet that need this morning. I pray for each one. God, that may need a touch in their body this morning. God, that you would reach down and God, touch them afresh and anew today. God, renew their strength, God. Touch them and minister to them, Father. God, I pray for those that are battling their spirit. God, those that are downtrodden this morning. God, that you would lift up their head. And God, let them know, God, that you have not forgotten them. You have not forsaken them. But God, you're standing right with them today. Encourage their hearts. Lift up their spirits today. God, rebuke the devourer for their namesake today. Father, I pray for those that might need a job today. God, that you would provide that job. God, those that need a miracle in their finances today. God, open the windows of heaven. And God, pour out a blessing they cannot contain. God, whatever the need is today, we know, God, that you're our answer. And Father, we pray, God, that you would speak a word and things would begin to change on our behalf today. Father, we ask it all in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Let's sing this chorus. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening. So keep your heart. God answers prayer in the morning. God answers prayer at noon. God answers prayer in the evening. So that today God's never busy amen. amen he's never amen. too busy to hear his amen. cry of his children amen. amen give me my hand clap today <laughs> Hallelujah. you may be seated this morning I'm going to ask the ushers to come to receive the morning offering and tithes if you have to give today you give us unto the Lord he'll bless you today for your giving Sister Melanie, would you pray over the offering this morning? By love divine, glory, glory, Christ is mine, all to Him I now resign, I have been, I have been redeemed, sweet of the song 
I'm singing today. I'm redeemed, oh, I'm redeemed. Troubles and sorrow have vanished away. I have been, I have been redeemed. Oh, I'm redeemed by glory, my glory, glory. glory. Christ is mine, all to Him I now resign. I have been, I have been redeemed. Precious indeed is my Savior to me. I'm redeemed, no, oh, I'm redeemed. Happy in glory, someday shall be. I have been, I have been redeemed. Oh, I'm redeemed by love divine. Glory, glory, Christ is mine. All to Him I now resign. I have been, I have been redeemed. Are you redeemed by love divine? Glory, glory, Christ is mine, all to Him I now resign. I have been, I have been redeemed. I now resign. I have been, I have been redeemed. Amen. Give God a hand clap of praise this morning. Worship Him this morning, church. Just worship the Lord this morning. He is here. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The past couple of Sundays, uh, many times I'll get my inspiration for picking out songs, either through the Lord or a testimony somebody's given or a uh, sermon that the pastor has preached, or maybe a teaching lesson that either Sister Poole or Brother Rick has taught. And it seemed like the last few Sundays, and he even mentioned it this morning, that God is the answer. And that's the song I want to sing this morning, He is the Answer. I know there's an athlete, I can't think of his name, I think it's a basketball player, and he's nicknamed the answer, but he's not the answer. God is the answer. Amen. So let's pray for me this morning as I sing this song. God is the answer. Oh yes, God is the answer. God is the answer in the time of need. Oh yes, God is the answer. I know God is the answer. Yes, God, He's the answer in the time of need. One day I was burdened and my mind was ill at ease. I was searching for the answer 
And it came within the breeze. Aren't you glad to know that God, He is the answer? Singing if you know it. God is the answer. God is the answer in the time of need. Oh, God is the answer. I know God is the answer. Yes, God, He's the answer in the time of need. We'll sing it out course or verse again. One day I was burdened and my mind was ill at ease. I was searching for the answer and it came within the breeze. I'm so glad I know that God, He's the answer. Yes, God is the answer. God is the answer in the time of need. Oh, yes, God is the answer. I know God is the answer. Yes, God is the answer in the time of need. Praise God. How many truly believes He is our answer today? How many believes He is our answer today? To whatever life throws my way, He's my answer. Amen? No matter how bad the devil may seem, God's still the answer today. Amen? We're going to go ahead and dismiss the kids from 6 and under to junior church. Kids 6 and under can go to junior church. Six and under. Just one, just one sec. Kids 7 to 12. Kids 7 to 12. You can go ahead and go. Yes.
Praise the Lord. Praise God. Amen. 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 Praise God. God still answers prayer today. Amen. He's not asleep. He's not dead. He's not on the cross. But He's sitting at the right hand of the Father making intercession for you and I today. Amen. If you have your Bibles this morning, I'd like you to turn to Isaiah chapter 64. And we're going to read verse number 6. Isaiah chapter 64. Verse number 6. Isaiah 64, verse 6. If you found that, say amen. If you don't have your Bibles, it's there on the screen for you. It says, but we are all as unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rags, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities like the wind have taken us away. This morning I want to preach on the thought of filthy rags. Filthy rags. Let's pray and ask for God's help. Father, I thank you, Lord, for the testimony, God, that we've heard on how you've answered prayer. And Father, I stand here this morning needing your help, God, because I realize in myself I cannot do this. But God, I need the anointing of the Holy Ghost today. God, to help me, God, to be able to bring forth the Word of God that you've laid into my spirit today. Father, I pray, God, that you'd anoint me. God, that you would use me. God, that you would help me. God, to speak what you want spoken. Help me to decrease. Lord, that you might increase. Father, anoint every ear to hear and every heart to receive your word today. Father, I pray it all in the name of Jesus. And everybody say amen today. This morning, I want us to understand in ourselves we're nothing but filthy rags. Amen. We can come in here and put on the nicest suit that we can go and pick out at the store. We can come in here with the nicest dress that we could buy at the mall. We can come in here with nice shoes, nice clothes, and look like we're somebody important. Amen. But without Jesus Christ, we're nothing but filthy rags. Amen. Without Christ in our hearts, without Christ in our lives, we're nothing but but filthy rags. Amen. Romans 3 and 10 says, As it is written, there is none righteous, no, not one. Amen. Nobody in this building today is righteous without Christ. Amen. The Bible says that our righteousness, our goodness, or our right living is filthiness in the sight of God. Amen. We can think we're living the best life. Amen. We think we might have Amen. Everything going on in our lives. We may have money built up in the bank. Our bills are paid. We may have a nice home to go to. Amen. We may be able, amen, to uh, have great things in this world. But without Jesus Christ living on the inside of our hearts, we're nothing but filthy rags. Amen. The Bible says there's not one righteous. No, not one. Amen. We can't get good enough, amen, to get to heaven without Jesus Christ. Amen. We may be able to sing like an angel, but without Christ, our songs are in vain. Amen. We may be able to quote hundreds of scriptures. Amen. But without Christ, amen, the words that we speak mean nothing. Amen. You may be able to give 
more than anybody in this room. Amen. But your giving does not mean anything to God without Christ living on the inside of your heart. Amen. You may be able to write a book and sell a million copies. Amen. But you're still filthy rags without Christ. You may be a great politician, amen, but your righteousness is filthy rags. You may be able to obtain homes, lands, and cars, amen, but without Christ, you're nothing but filthy rags, amen. The Bible tells us we've all sinned, we've all come short of the glory of God. We, are all, we were all one day a filthy rag, amen, rags, amen, that are stained, Amen, with sin. Rags that were stained, amen, with the filthiness of this flesh. The filthiness of this world. Amen, I don't know about you, but I've got to the point where I've had rags that I use to clean with. And they get to the point where they get so filthy, amen, they're no use anymore. They're so stained and they're so dirty, amen, and I set them aside and I grab another rag. I'm thankful this morning today, amen, that God don't throw no rags away. He don't throw anybody away today, amen, but He, amen, can take the filthiness, amen, of this flesh. He can take the filthiness of our lives, amen, with one drop of His blood. He can give us a new clean rag, amen, amen, but we're, amen, without Christ, we're nothing but filth, amen. Your rag this morning could be full of hatred and bitterness. Your rag this morning could be full of addiction. Amen. Your rag could be full of lies and cheating. Amen. Your rag could be full of yourself today. Your rag could be full of sexual perversion. Your rag could be full of hatred. Your rag could be full of anger today. Your rag could be full of nothing but you saying, I'm good enough, I don't need God. Amen. But my Bible says there's not one righteous, no, not one. Amen. There's nothing, amen, in ourselves that we can do to clean our rags. Amen. But I'm not here to condemn you. I'm not here to make you feel bad today. I'm here today to remind you, amen, that we were all one day a filthy rag. We were all one day in our sins. Amen. But thanks be to God. Romans 5 verse number 19. It says, For what by one man's disobedient, many were made sinners. So by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous today. Amen. Because of Adam's sin, we were all born filthy rags. Amen. I don't care what family you were born into. I don't care what last name is behind your first name today. Amen. We were all born sinners. Amen. Because of Adam's sin in the garden. Amen. Because of his disobedience. Amen. You and I were born filthy rags. You and I were born unrighteous. Amen. But thanks be to God. Amen. Adam's disobedience caused us to be born as unrighteous sinners. Amen. But because of the obedience of Jesus Christ, amen, we can all now say today, I have been made righteous through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm nothing in myself. Amen. But through the blood of Jesus Christ, I have now become righteous. Amen. Thank God today that He took my filthy rags and He has cleaned the filth of my sins and your sins today. Amen. With His blood. Amen. That He shed on Calvary. Amen. They beat Him. Amen. They plucked the beard from His face. Why? Because I was filthy rag and I needed somebody to clean my rag. I needed somebody, amen, to wash my rag. And so He allowed them to beat Him and to crucify Him. Amen. Because of His obedience, we have been made righteous. Let us never forget where we came from. We all came from filthy rags. Amen. We all came from filthy rags. 
Amen. The Bible says we've all sinned and we've all come short of the glory of God. We were all sinners one day. Amen. Let us never forget where we came from. Amen. We were all filthy rags. Amen. But thanks be to God, His only begotten Son came to this earth. He died and He didn't stay in the tomb. Amen. He didn't stay on the cross. Amen. But He ascended to heaven. He first went down into the bottomless pit of hell and He took the keys of death, hell, and the grave. Amen. He walked in there and He walked out and He led those that were captive. He led them out free. Amen. You and I that were bound with those filthy rags. We were bound by the chains of our sin. Jesus holds the key to unlock the chains of all our sins today. Amen. We were all filthy rags, but today we have been made righteous. Amen. Through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I'm thankful today for His righteousness. Amen. It's His righteousness, not ours. It's His righteousness that we have been made righteous today. Amen. Jesus takes filthy rags and He makes them new again. Amen. There are rags that I have used that were so dirty and so filthy, I just threw them in the trash can because I didn't even want to put them in the washing machine because I thought I'd ruin the washing machine because they were so soaked in oil, they were so soaked in dirt, they were so soaked in filth, amen, that I just cast them aside and said there was no use for them. I'm glad today that Jesus has never found a filthy rag that He has cast aside. Amen. He, I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you you've done. I don't care how dirty you are today. Jesus loves you and He wants to clean your filthiness, amen, with His righteousness. He wants to embrace you. He wants to put His arms around you. He wants to remove the filthiness that you are in right now. Amen. I'm glad today that He has never cast any aside. Jesus died. Amen. As Sister Poole said, this morning, He died for the whole world. Amen. He died for the darkest, dirtiest person on this planet to the most highest, amen, in authority that sits on thrones and kingdoms. Amen. He died for each and every one. He died for the whole entire world today. Amen. There's not one rag that He didn't die for. There's not one rag that He's not willing to get His hands dirty and pick up and put them in His arms and say, I love you today. Let my righteousness Righteousness, cover your unrighteousness. Let my blood cleanse your filthy rag today. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad God's no respecter of people? He didn't die just for the good looking ones. He didn't die just for the rich. He didn't just die for the VIPs. He just didn't die, amen, for those that had, amen, great authority and power, amen, but He died for each and every one of us today. We came, may have came from an old shack or we may have came out of a kingdom, amen. We were all filthy rags and Jesus died for each and every one of us today and He has no respect to people, amen. Whether your rag is so filthy, everybody says just throw it away, amen. Jesus said, let my blood cleanse it. Let my blood touch it. Let my blood make it a new rag. Amen. He puts His righteousness onto our filthiness and He makes us righteous today. Amen. I'm glad He took my filthy rag and He covered it in His blood. Amen. Let us never forget where we came from and who we are today. We are made righteous today through the shed blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. I don't care. Amen. What people may tell you. They may tell you you're no good and you're never going to be anything. Amen. I came to tell you you're good. Amen. And you're important to God. That God sent His only Son to die just for you today. Amen. I don't care how dirty your rag may seem. Amen. God can take your dirtiness and He can turn it around. Amen. He can wash it in the blood of Jesus and He can give you a clean, spotless garment. Amen? I don't care how filthy your rags may be. Christ ain't afraid to get His hands dirty. Some people we shy from. They may not look like us and they may not smell like us. And people back off. 
How many is glad today God don't care what you smell like? God don't care what you look like. He'll take those hands and He'll put those hands on our filthiness. And He will cover them with the blood of Jesus. And His righteousness will cleanse us. And His blood will wash us and make us new creatures. Amen. The Bible says we become new creatures in Christ. Amen. Behold, all things have passed away. All the filthiness. Amen. All the filthy rags have passed away and behold all things have become new i'm new today because christ amen took my filthy rag and he washed it clean amen he gave me a new rag today hallelujah be proud of who you are Amen. Be proud of who you. Sister Poole was talking about, amen, people's ancestry, their history of their ancestors. And some people find out that their family may not be somebody they're too proud of because they may have been a bunch of thieves or a bunch of drunks or a bunch of this or a bunch of that. Amen. Let us be proud of our heritage. Amen. We have a Heavenly Father that loved us so much that He was willing to send His only begotten Son, that He was willing to die on that cross. Amen. That He shed His blood, that He could take His blood and He could cleanse us from all of our filthiness and He can wash our rags and He can make us new today. Today. Let us be proud to say I'm a Christian today. Not because I earned it or I deserved it. Because none of you can earn it. I couldn't earn it. You can't earn it today. Excuse me. Because the Bible says our filthiness is as filthy rags. We can go to counseling. We can try to get our life straightened out. Amen. We can run here. And we can run there. And we can try to live the best lives that we can live but without Christ. Amen. We're wasting our time because we'll never get good enough to get into heaven. It takes the shed blood of Jesus Christ, amen, to be applied to our lives. Amen. Romans seven eighteen says, For I know that in me that is in my flesh dwelleth no good thing. For the will is present with me, but now... But how to perform that which is good, I find not. In this flesh, there's nothing good. In this flesh, there's nothing good. Amen. Except when we allow Christ to come into our hearts and into our lives. Amen. We can dress up this flesh and we can look like we're a Christian. Amen. We can get the biggest Bible that we can find and we can put it under our arms and we can strut in here looking like we're a Christian. But how many knows today in our flesh, amen, we're no good. But that takes Christ living on the inside of us. Amen. That's what makes us righteous. That's what makes us right. Amen. In right standing before God. It's not because we have become good people. It's not because we put on nice clothes or we got a Bible to hold in our hand. It's because we have accepted Christ and He sits on the throne of our hearts today. Amen. This flesh is no good except for when Christ comes down and He changes our hearts today. So many people think they got to get good before they come to Jesus. How many knows you're never going to get good enough? You come to Him like you are. We sing that song, Just As I Am. How many knows He wants you to come just like you are? Amen. That filthy, no good rag that you are. You come like you are, and He'll do the work. Amen. I can't do the work for you. Amen. I can pray for you, and I can lead you in a sinner's prayer, but my prayers will not change you. It's when you call on the name of Jesus, He'll come down, and He'll take that filthy rag, and He'll clean it up, and He'll change your heart. He'll change your heart. He'll change your mind. He'll change the way you live. Amen. Hallelujah. Aren't you glad today, Christ? Amen. Change your life. Aren't you glad today that He took your filthy rags from your life today? Amen. Does that mean we're perfect? No. We're just forgiven. Amen. Does that mean we're never going to have a problem again? No. We just have a God that will walk with us through our problems. 
Amen. Is there going to be times that we're going to have to pray and ask God to forgive us again? Yeah, there's going to be times where that rag may get a spot on it. And it may get a little dirty. Amen. Because we may slip and we may fall or we may stumble. Amen. And we may have to ask God to cleanse us one more time. But how many knows today He's faithful and just? Amen. To forgive us. Amen. We may make mistakes and we may falter and we may fail. God don't push us aside and say enough is enough. Amen. But He is faithful. If we'll call out to Him, He's faithful and just to reach down and cleanse our rags again if he has to. Amen. I don't believe in once saved, always saved, but I believe we can get saved and stay saved. Amen. Because we learn when we make mistakes, we got to call on Jesus because he's our source. Amen. It's not about what I've done or what I can do. It's about what the Lord can do in me today. Amen. I'm glad today that he took our filthy rags and He put on us a garment of praise. Amen. We ought to be the most praisingest people, amen, around town. Amen. Because we who were once filthy, amen, have now became righteous. Amen. He paid a debt He didn't know. Amen. He paid our sin debt. He has taken the filthiness of our sins, and now He has put on us a garment of praise. Amen. The Bible says to enter His gates with thanksgiving in our hearts, enter His courts with praise. Amen. When we walk through those doors, we ought to walk walk in thanking Him that I'm not a filthy rag like I used to be. I'm not the man I used to be. But today, I'm walking into God's house with a garment of praise on. I want to thank Him. I want to praise Him for what He's done in my life. Amen? We've been clothed in His righteousness. And we are now worthy because of His blood. And we ought to put on those garments of praise. Amen. That we ought to thank God every day that we wake up. Every opportunity we have to enter His presence, we ought to enter it with those thanksgiving in our hearts. Amen. Let us never think it's me, what I've done. Because we're nothing in the sight of God but filthy rags. When He looks at us and the blood has not been applied to our hearts, He's going to look and see nothing but a filthy rag. And you may say, well, I've done this, I've done that, I gave to this, and I've gave to that. But when God looks down upon our lives, He's going to look to see if there's one thing that's happened. That's to see if the blood of His Son has been applied to our lives. Amen. If we've allowed Christ to be Lord of our hearts and we've accepted Him as our Lord and Savior, God's going to look down. He's not going to see that old filthy rag that we once were. He's going to look down and say, that's one of my children. That's one of mine. That's one that I sent my Son to bleed and die for. That's my child. That's my children. Amen. We're children of the Most High God. And He deserves our highest praise. Come on, give Him praise. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, give Him praise. Come on, give Him praise. He did something for you nobody could do. Come on, give Him praise. Don't sit on God. Give Him praise. He redeemed us. He bought us with His blood. He redeemed our filthiness. And He gave us a new life in Christ. And He's worthy of our praise today. So many times we come into His house. We come into God's house. The one that took our rags of our filthiness and we sit on God and we don't want to give Him the praise that He deserves. Amen. God's done nothing to me but good. Amen. God's done nothing to deserve our highest praise, but He gets our leftovers. When we feel good, we'll praise Him. When everything's going all right, we'll praise Him. How many knows He's worthy whether things are going good or not? Whether your bills are paid or not, He's still God and He's still worthy to be praised. Whether you got a headache or a backache, He's still worthy of our praise. Amen. A lot of times it gets our leftovers. 
He's worthy of our highest praise, church. Amen. I was a filthy rag. Today I'm a child of the Most High God. Amen. I got royal blood flowing in these veins. We stay talking about that this morning. Amen. I was once, amen, lost and undone on my way to a devil's hell. But today I got royal blood flowing in these veins. Not because I did some great thing. Not because I'm some great man. But because I was a filthy, no good, dirty rag. And Jesus Christ reached down his hand. Amen. At the altar over here at the old church. Amen. His hand came down and he cleansed me. And he took my filthy rag and he brought it up a new clean rag. And today I'm a new creature in Christ. Not because I did anything except for calling on Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. It's not about us, church. It's all about Him. Because we'll never be good enough to get into heaven. You'll say, man, I've never sinned. I've never did this. I've never did that. You're still a filthy rag. The Bible says we were born into this world sinners. And without Christ, we'll never get into heaven. As we stand our feet today, as musicians, singers come, hope today the Word of God's challenged our hearts. Let us remember where we were and where we are today. Filthy rags, who we used to be. But today, we're children of the Most High God. We're children of a King. Amen. You may say, I don't have a lot on this earth, but you got a mansion waiting on you on the other side. you got a heavenly Father that owns it all, and He loves you today, and He cares about your every need today. As they play and begin to sing, as we bow our heads and close our eyes today, maybe you're here this morning. You don't know Christ as your Lord and Savior. You're here this morning in your filthiness of your sins. Christ is here today to forgive you of your sins. If you'd be willing to take a step of faith and step out of your seat, come to this altar and say, Lord, I'm a filthy, no good sinner. I need a Savior today. He's here today to drop one drop of His blood on your filthy rags and to make you clean today. I don't care where you've been. I don't care what you've done. The Lord God Almighty loves you today. He wants to cleanse you with His blood today. Or maybe you're here today, you once had a relationship with the Lord, but you've walked away. You turned your back and walked the other direction. You went back to the filthiness of this world. God's here today. He said He's married to the backslider. He's here today. He loves you. He wants to cleanse you once again. If you're here today, you've walked away from God. Your relationship with God has been severed. God is here to restore the joy of your salvation today. If you're here today, you've walked away from God. God wants to redeem you. God wants to restore you today. He's here today. He's calling your name today. You know who you are. I'm not here to embarrass you, but I'm here to give you an invitation. You don't want to get out of your seat. I want us all to find us a place of prayer. If you need to call on God, you call on God right where you're at today. If you need to thank God for what He's done in your life, you haven't done it enough, amen, get on your knees and thank God for what He's done in your life. Thank God for taking your filthy rags and making them clean today. Amen, the altars are open. If you want to come, the altars are open. You don't want to come around the altars, find a place of prayer at your pew. Amen, but let's get on our faces before God and let's thank Him for taking our filthiness and making it new today. Hallelujah. me come to the of God.
move, you gotta move, you gotta move. You gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. Oh, when the Lord gets ready, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. You may be right. Strong, but when the Lord gets ready, you gotta move, you gotta move. You may be up, you may be down, you may be weak, you may be down, but when the Lord gets ready, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. In the chorus, church, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move, you gotta move. Oh, when the Lord gets ready, you gotta move, 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 you gotta move. Give him another hand clap of praise today. Amen. I'm thankful this morning for what the Lord's done in my life. Amen. I'm thankful He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's never changed. So if He did it for me, He can do it for anybody today. Amen. Remember the announcement service tonight, 6 o'clock. Please come out and support uh, our, our minister tonight. Brother Bobby Boyd will be ministering. He's in his 30s. I heard him preach back when he was real young. He preached in Wheatfield when I was a youth pastor there, and he's pastor at Winnemac Church, a Pentecostal church in Winnemac, so we'll be preaching tonight, so come out and support uh, the service tonight. We'd appreciate it, and you'll leave blessed, I guarantee it. Amen. Anytime we can get in the presence of the Lord, we'll leave blessed, right? No matter who's preaching, who's singing, amen? Praise God. Amen. So remember the announcement, men's meeting Tuesday night, amen, and be back tonight at 6. Brother Roy, will you dismiss us in prayer?